Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Wednesday night at City Field, the Marlins took the rubber game of the series from the Mets 4 to 3. Dylan G gave up three runs in the first two innings, and the Mets never caught up. End up giving up four in the game. It just wasn't enough. Dylan uh, came out of shoot. He had a hard time uh, retiring. The Marlins did not have his good stuff early, but he turned it around a little uh, and lasted uh, into the seventh inning. I actually felt like I threw the ball pretty well today. Um, Got pretty unlucky in the first first inning there. Um, you know, a couple couple ground balls up the middle, a couple a little infield single, and then a you know a little uh, bleeder over first base. So, I mean, really, I, I feel like I threw the ball uh, pretty well tonight. His numbers are dictated by the fact that he has just not commanded the baseball like he knows how, or like he can. And that uh, that to me is what's sta- what's standing out. I have not seen Dylan G ever miss around the strike zone as, you know, the ball's up and in, up and in, up and in to right-handed hitters. I mean, uh, that, that's what I see as, as the issue more than, you know, it, it obviously it's going to end up looking bad on, in the number side. You know, a lot of things haven't, haven't gone the way you want them to, but uh, like I said, for the most part, these last, these last, I would say, you know, four or five outings, uh, I haven't felt that bad. I felt pretty good, and um, tonight was just kind of another example of, me, I felt like I threw the ball well. I was, I was mixing it, and you know, was, early on, I was getting the contact I was looking for. It just uh, wasn't working out. Um, you know, I was able to battle through six and two thirds uh, in a game that, in the first inning, probably could have got a lot worse. So, um, you know, I think I'm, I'm doing all right, and I feel pretty good. You know, I think Dylan G, perhaps, uh, you know, over the winter time, over resting in the winter time, comes back in spring training, and and that's where you'll see a marked improvement or, or find out if he's the same guy that you know we saw in the first half. Mets used four relievers after that, but not enough offense. Mets had their shot in the fifth inning, down 3 nothing. Lucas Duda, a two-run single, and then a huge defensive play for Miami. Well, Flores hit a high fly ball to probably the one of the deepest parts of the ballpark in left center field, more towards central. But Ozuna leaped up, and it w- wouldn't have been a home run. It would have been a double, but it had been two more runs on the board and ended the inning, so that was the play of the game right there in the game where the Marlins really made a lot of fine plays in the field. So the Marlins stay in front of the Mets in the standings in third place. Mets get Thursday off, Friday night back in action in Atlanta with Zach Wheeler on the mound. Our coverage begins at 6.30 with Cadillac first pitch Friday night on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.